Have you ever thought, man, I really like that Seeker 2 Pro, but it's a little too expensive? Or maybe you want something that's a little bit more simplified and more of a streamlined user experience. Well, today I'm gonna to talk about the brand new Seeker 2 and how it compares to the Seeker 2 Pro. And also what really helps with this is that on August 29th, we're having a flash sale where these are up to 40% off bundled with the brand new Desert Tan version of the i3T. Now there's a lot of stuff to go over, so let's get started. brand new Seeker 2 here on the table. This is the black version, um, but keep in mind it will be coming out in blue as well. I don't have the blue version for this video unfortunately, um, but just know that this will be coming out in not only black, but in a really cool looking blue. So stay tuned for our social media and I'll actually show you a picture right here of what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get into this packaging. The trusty old Spyderco here, actually a new Spyderco. And uh, take off the wrapper here. It opens up just like all our others, so it kind of opens up like a book. It's in this nice white packaging. 220 meters of throw and 3,000 lumens on this guy. So we'll open this up. Uh, Simply powerful is uh, what it says on the packaging, and that's because the UI is extremely simple, the feature set is very simple, but you're still getting that 3,000 lumens of power at a nice budget-friendly price. So first thing that we want to do is uh, take the light out. What we first wanna do is open up the tail cap and pull out this little yellow tab that came out. Okay, now one thing I do want to mention is this is a review sample and this one has a 4,000 milliamp battery, but the good news is, is that the one that you get is actually not gonna be a 4,000 milliamp battery. We decided to upgrade the milliamps at no additional cost to you and we're including the 5,000 milliamp battery with the Seeker 2s instead of the 4,000. So big benefit there, an extra 1,000 milliamps for the battery at no additional charge. So we'll th go ahead and throw that one in there and tighten the tail cap back up and we are good to go. I do wanna show you that in the bottom of the packaging, it comes with a few accessories and this is gonna have your user manual, of course. And then it's also going to have our magnetic USB charging cable, which you just slap onto the back of the light. But this light will also work with the L dock if you choose to get one of those for it. The Seeker 2 Pro comes with the L dock, the Seeker 2 does not, but it still comes with this cable. And uh, again, this cable works with any other, you know, S series lights. Warrior X, uh, Seeker 2 Pro, anything like that. And it comes with a lanyard as well. And if you look at this lanyard, it's a little bit different than the other ones that we've had, where the uh, little button here to cinch it up and down, and also the clasp here is a light blue instead of a black like it was previously. I think this looks a little bit cooler. I've got just a little printout here of both of the specs. Seeker 2 Pro specs here on the top. Seeker 2 on the bottom. I hope you guys can read that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And there we are. Uh, pause this if you need to, if you want to write it down or anything like that, but let's go ahead through it. So with the 5,000 milliamp battery and both of the lights, which they both come with the 5,000 milliamp battery now, you're going to get 3,200 lumens compared to 3,000 lumens. Here's the kicker though, 3,200 lumens with the Seeker 2 Pro is two minutes. 
3,000 lumens is three minutes before they gradually start dropping down to 600 lumens and you're going to get that 600 lumens for 150 minutes on the Seeker 2 Pro, 155 on the Seeker 2. So you're getting an extra minute of turbo with the Seeker 2 and then you're getting an extra five minutes of that 600 lumen drop down with the Seeker 2. Let's move on to the other settings. And uh, actually the other settings are exactly the same between the two lights. So the only real difference in output is 200 less lumens and you're getting an extra minute of that turbo and then also you're getting an extra five minutes of that drop down 600 lumens. 1200 lumens here on mode two, 110 minutes before it drops down exactly the same. But when it drops down to 600 lumens, you're gonna get 50 minutes instead of 30 minutes. So that's an extra 20 minutes at that 600 lumen mode, which is pretty awesome. The 300 lumen mode, 9.5 hours on the Pro, 13 hours on the new Seeker 2. So you're getting you know, an extra three and a half hours there at that 300 lumen runtime. For the 50 lumen mode, you're getting 50 hours here, and then you're getting 72 hours here. So that's an extra 22 hours of uh, run time there. And then at the five lumen lowest setting, you're getting 12 days on the Pro and you're getting 15 days on the two. So besides being 200 lumens less, you're actually getting stronger run times on those lower modes. Um, the only difference is the throw is gonna be a little bit less on each setting. So you can see at the 1200 lumen mode, your throw is 150 meters. Whereas on the Seeker 2, it's 135 meters. So there's a trade off, right? You're getting a little bit less distance at each mode, but you're getting a little bit more runtime with the Seeker 2. And then, of course, on turbo, you're getting those extra 200 lumens, which I will show you right here where uh, you can actually tell the difference. Let's check that out. Uh, let's go ahead and do a comparison of the turbo mode on both since they are slightly different. So on the left here, I'm gonna show you real quick the 3000 lumen mode of the Seeker 2. And on the right, I'm gonna show the 3200 lumen mode on the Seeker 2 Pro. And I don't know if you can really tell, but I am able to make out the tree here on the right a little bit better than the left. Um, so it is a little bit brighter from that Seeker 2 Pro on that turbo mode. Um, we can go ahead and crank down. We'll go to that low mode right there, and those look basically exactly the same. We'll go up to the uh, medium mode there. Those look basically the same. And then we'll go up to the high mode, and those look basically the same as well. So really, it's just that turbo mode that is the big difference uh, between that 3,000 lumens and 3,200 lumens. And we'll go ahead and crank back up to that again and you can see how on the right with that Seeker 2 Pro it is a little bit brighter. So as you can see that 3200 lumen mode is brighter than that 3000 lumen mode and a big part of that is because the Candela is stronger. If you watched my previous video from a few weeks ago I talked about how Candela tells you how intense a beam is when it hits a certain object. So you can see I showed how the beam is stronger hitting the, those trees with the Seeker 2 Pro versus hitting the trees with the Seeker 2 and that's because the Candela is stronger with the Seeker 2 Pro than the Seeker 2. Also, let's take a look at the dimensions. So the body diameter is 1.08 inches. It's 1.1 with the Seeker 2 Pro. So you're getting a, just a hair smaller body diameter. The head diameter, 1.38. The heads are exactly the same. And then the uh, length of the body itself is 4.96 inches on the Seeker 2 compared to the uh, Seeker 2 Pro, which is 5.04 inches. And let's go ahead and take a look now at that difference in length. I hope that you can see that it is, you might be able to get it from that angle. Um, it is definitely a little bit shorter, okay? And then also the body itself does not have these rubber grips that allowed us to cut the costs a little bit um, because these rubber grips are a little more expensive than just doing some quick milling on the sides here um, so just keep that in mind um, but it still feels really good you know it's not just flat it's got these nice grooves in here which make it feel really good 
So either way, they still feel good. This is a little mushier. I'd say maybe over a long period of time, the Seeker 2 Pro is a little bit more comfortable, but this is still an extremely comfortable light compared to other offerings out on the market. Another huge difference between the lights is on the Seeker 2 Pro, you have the lumen and battery indicator LEDs on each side of the switch. So that's four LEDs on each side of the switch, whereas with the Seeker 2, all you're getting is that three stage battery indicator in the center of the switch, similar to the uh, S1R Baton 2 and S2R Baton 2. So right now we got a full battery, so it's green. And then when you're at about halfway, it'll be yellow. And then when your light's about to die, it'll be red. So just something to keep in mind, the intricacy of the lumen and battery indicator on the Seeker 2 is not the same as the Seeker 2 Pro. Now you guys asked for it, so we are delivering. So right here, I have got a Desert Tan i3T. These are extremely popular, 180 lumens, triple A battery, tail switch, dual direction pocket clip. These are awesome, a no brainer light for anyone who needs a flashlight, which is everyone. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, real simple. And then we want to remove the little battery insert. We include that with all of our lights that have batteries just to be safe during shipping. Looks really, really good in tan. Um, I think, you know, having one of these in tan is a no brainer. And the way that the deal works is you will be able to get the Seeker 2 plus the tan i3T for 40% off, making it only $79.14 with free shipping. So you can get both of these lights with batteries, 5,000 milliamp battery, upgraded battery in this included, plus the charging cable for only $79.14 free shipping. That saves you over $52 off of the standard pricing for this light. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this light will come in a full blue color as well with black accents. The blue version will be $85.14. So keep in mind, you can get this bundle with either the Black Seeker 2 or the Blue Seeker 2, 40% off, and the normal price for the Seeker 2 by itself is only 30% off, which means that if you get the bundle, the i3T in tan is only an extra $2.17, okay? so. I think 99.9% .9 of the orders that we're gonna get during this sale are going to be for the bundle because the bundle, you're getting 40% off the whole thing, making it where it's only $2.17 extra to get the light plus the i3T versus just getting the light. Not only do we have these sweet bundles, but we also have some freebies as well. So we're gonna give you guys a choice. What you have to do is log into your account on August 29th, uh, either log in or register an account, and you're gonna be able to choose between getting a free white traffic wand, orange traffic wand, or we also are doing free pocket clips, which I do not have yet, um, but we're gonna have free pocket clips for the Seeker 2 and Seeker 2 Pro as well. Coolest part about this promotion is there is no purchase necessary. So, you know, yes, we want you to get the Seeker 2 bundled with the Tan i3T, but say that you only wanna get one of these traffic wands, well, you can just get one of these for free, and then it's just $5 shipping if your order is less than $49. And that is not the only free stuff that you can get. If your order is $99 or more, you can automatically get a free i1R, all right, this is an awesome keychain light, 130 lumens, micro USB rechargeable. Uh, everybody who works here has one of these on their keys. And uh, Peter McKinnon, one of my favorite YouTubers, a guy who's taught me a lot about making videos, he's got one of these on his keys as well. So uh, yeah, spend $99 or more and get one of these added to your cart automatically for free. If you spend $159 or more, you're going to automatically get a S1 mini baton and high CRI, okay? So it's gonna have a uh, higher CRI, a little bit warmer type of tone to the beam, um, but these are really nice for EDC. I'm a big fan of that beam. Say that, uh, you know, I'm going to the website, just logged on, okay? Just logged into an account, August 29th, okay? 
I want to go ahead and uh, get a secret two with the uh, i3T bundle. Of course, that's a no-brainer. 79 bucks there, okay? I add $20 worth of stuff to my cart. Say that I want to get an extra, uh, you know, i3T and TAN. These will be for sale separately for a little over 20 bucks. So say that I want to get a secret two with the Desert Tan i3T bundled with uh, maybe another i3T. That'll reach $100 for my order. Then I can get the free i1R, and then I also can add a free white traffic cone to be able to make my light an awesome lantern. So you're looking at all of this stuff. Here's just an example order. You can get all of this stuff for maybe right at a hundred bucks, maybe a dollar more, 101, 102. So I mean, the possibilities for you guys on the website, August 29th, is incredible okay you're just gonna have to mix and match and choose how you want to do it i want to thank you guys for taking a look at the seeker 2 and the desert tan i3t with me today don't forget august 29th you can get these in a bundle for 40 percent off and also that includes a blue version that unfortunately i wasn't able to show you today but i will be able to show you soon so stay tuned for that also, you can add a clip for your Seeker 2 or Seeker 2 Pro, or you can get an orange or white traffic wand, and that'll fit the Seeker 2, Seeker 2 Pro, or the Warrior X. So you're gonna have to log on to the website August 29th, next Thursday, and check out all of the awesome goodies that we have there for you guys. You don't wanna miss it.